Hey guys, Ashley Knox here with Identity by Design Magazine. I'm here with Trishana Helm, owner of Jean Ravain Boutique. She's also a beauty blogger. Uh, she's new to YouTube, so she'll be putting videos out on her channel soon. Um, she does Trishana Trends. She does a little bit of everything here and there. <laughs> so we're going to be talking to her about um, what she has going on right now and you know where she's taking her brand. So mm -hmm. say hello, Trishana. Hello, I'm Trishana, as Ashley was saying. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so excited like I feel important yeah it's a pleasure <laughs> to have you here I feel like we've been trying to get an interview done for a while Ever. now so but yes. you're busy going to Canada your new creative director in fashion shows here and there so I mean tell us a little bit about that so um, I have John Ravain as if you were saying so online boutique for women to shop online um, and get the full experience so if you were urban bohemian uh, whatever your style is, really, you can shop John Ravain shop collection, or if you don't have patience, you can shop by tops, pants, just the whole nine yards. Like you're saying, I have a creative director who's in Canada and really bring the best pieces that we can really that fits everyone, every personality to John Ravain. So I do a lot, yes. Okay. Now, I have to ask, which I feel like I'm not the only person who is wondering this. What made you spell John Ravain that way? Like, why the V A E I N? Okay. Like, where'd that come from? Okay, yeah. So John Ravain is spelled uh, V A E I N um, at the end of genre because of the fact that okay, so genre, style, beauty, culture um, is just you know the way of the world. So like genre, music, your favorite. Like if you're R&B, if you're whatever. So the same way I said with collections, you can shop by you know bohemian, urban, chic. Same. So I was trying to bring that genre to the website so that's where I got genre from and then vein one being vain about their appearance and then like fashions in your veins so I've added both I thought it was clever <laughs> v-a-e-i-n so that's how genre vein got its name and spelling and I wanted to really emphasize the two so one is print and the other part of the word is text right. I mean cursive so brought them together I mean I like it I definitely think that it sticks out like once you have to memorize the spelling yeah. of that name, you don't forget it. Oh, okay, perfect. So, Thank I mean, you. I think it's, it's perfect. Um, as we both said before, you're going to do a lot more blogging now, beauty blogging. Um, what all is that going to entail? So you're going to have tutorials or, like, what is all going to go on there? Yes, so I also have Trishana's Trends. That's more of my personal brand. So um, Trishana's Trends is really just people getting to know me, my sense of style, fashion. I think I'm funny, maybe. <laughs> Don't answer that. But um, so with that, I'm going to be doing blogging. Um, I have Trishana's Trends coming back soon. So it has blogs, of course, everything John Ravain, um, cross-promotion of that, as well as beauty, my hair tips, because you guys know I do hair do a lot oh my gosh um you do do so a lot. <laughs> i do i try and i also vlog oh my gosh i forgot about that i vlog so i record my life record things like this amazing people like you give me opportunities like this to just really capture those good moments and that's every sunday on my channel trishana's trends youtube.com um and that's on sundays and then i also have beauty and hair on wednesdays and it's all at 7 p.m on top of john Ravain stuff so you got a lot. lot on your plate. Like, is it hard to find time? I mean, oh you got gosh. a little bit of everything going right now. Yeah. Um, luckily, I have such a great manager who will call me and she'll send me text messages. Like, it's like, you need to have your videos done or you need to have this done. So I'll literally be sleep and wake up at like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> just sleep like, OK, finish editing. And they'll be done by like six or seven in the morning. I'm back asleep and up doing the same thing. But I literally love it, like they say. If it's something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Right. So it's just my dream. Is your manager is at Jasmine, right? Yes. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Jess. <laughs> Jess, Jess, Jess. Yeah, I had the pleasure of working with her also, and she's just, she's amazing. Like, yeah. I can see how she definitely keeps you on track and makes sure that everything yes. goes smoothly. Like, just, she does a really good job. I just look the part. She's like the brains. <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm, I'm creative. So I, you know, art people, people who are creative, artsy, we talk in color. So everything's just like, okay, I need this to happen. This has to blow up. This has to be in color. This has to be gray. I need this to like be like this. So she's more of, okay, so you need to email these people, um, order the pieces, get this done, and then let's package it up. Like I would have never broke it down like that. I'm just like, okay, I need to see this. I need to see this. I need to see this. So that's why we're so opposite, but we work so well together. So 
Shout out to her. <laughs> yes. Shout out to Jasmine. No, that's dope because, yeah, when you have that perfect team, somebody who can just really bring out the best in you, mm -hmm. I mean, it's endless possibilities. Yeah. So that's and shout out to Tryon, too. Terrence Tryon, if you guys don't know him, he, like, started and seen my vision from day one. So without him, too, it would be possible. I just love everyone. You, everyone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, no, that's cool. Um, going back to talking about how like you and Jasmine sync and talking about you being funny. So I think it's amusing that every single person that I meet or whenever we're around you, like afterwards, they're always like, oh my God, she's so sweet. And I thought she was gonna be so mean. <laughs> you have what I have been told, like chronic resting bitch face. Like, <laughs> no, because I do, oh my gosh, it is so bad. Even no matter where I go, they're like, oh my gosh, Trishana, I did not think I would like you. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> and it's every single time, though. Everyone. It's every single time. I feel like maybe it's just you got your game face on, like you're mm -hmm. ready to work, you're thinking, but it is. It's always like, oh my God, she's so much sweeter. I think than it's I definitely thought. like tunnel vision. You know, like I, I know like what my tasks are or like what I have to do. And as soon as I'm started or I'm done, then it's like, okay, hi everyone, how are you? <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I promise I'm actually really nice, right? And no, I think you're super nice. Okay. I mean, we've worked together numerous times now, and whenever we got the music cranking, you're Millie rocking, you're dancing all over the place. <laughs> like, you know, exactly. I've been practicing. <laughs> I've really been like, I've. You know, I gotta work got a little bit harder. Like that but, combination know, going on. That's <laughs> it's definitely it's, no. I it's think a lifestyle. You're, I think you're super sweet. So yeah, I mean, I love working with you. So for the record, if no one else thinks that, as long as you think that, <laughs> we're good. Yes. Okay, we're good then. We're good. Um, I know earlier we were talking and you're going out of town this weekend. Like, it seems like you've been taking a trip at least once a month, yes. just all over the place. Has that been? rewarding like how does that i mean t tell me about yeah, that yeah okay so my very first trip i was talking to terrence tryon and i was like i have to like i have to travel like i have to take this thing on the road i have to meet new models i have to just really network and get people out there if you if like they always say build the best relationships ever i did not know this at first but now that i know so i was in um texas in may for two weeks with tryon we were just networking we had two photo shoots a day with different models and the crazy thing is those models like stuck like they actually became customers became friends told their friends so it's all about getting those relationships and when I was there I was like I have to go to Canada I didn't even know that I was gonna have a creative director in Canada <laughs> I was just like I have to go to Canada and Jasmine brought the best email we reached out to them they they loved us after a series of interviews next thing I was like I'll go to Canada they're like you'll really come I was like I'll be there next month like so ever since then I just been going and going and going so I was in Canada twice in Texas just everywhere actually tomorrow like I just do so much and I know I was with you last time and I had to be on the plane at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> um so this year we have a series of trips as well we have LA in April we have Jamaica in June we have so many different things um a pop-up shop a fashion show in March all of those are in March alone so it's just all about staying busy and sometimes people get hard on themselves like they feel like they're not doing something like sometimes like oh my gosh what have i done in a full month and then i remember the same time a commercial we did with jeff comes out and the same time this is coming out so i'm just like wow sometimes you just have to step back and be like you did the dang old thing bro <laughs> like you're actually making moves so I, it's just it's a blessing to really just be able to travel and meet people and have such strong-minded people around you so Oh, that's dope. I mean, Jamaica, that's awesome. Jamaica, Canada, yeah. L.A., Houston. Like, yeah. you are really making your mark in numerous places. Thank you I so mean, much. that's, I feel like you're really progressing at a quick pace, honestly, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So well, thank you. I commend you for sure. Um, and even with that being said, there are so many different fashion brands or lines that have come and gone in Omaha, you know, mm -hmm. started up and then quickly disappeared. What is it that makes you keep going? Like, why do you think that your your line is still here? Um, definitely my line is here because I try not to compare myself to people. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes we can get caught up like you see so many people doing things or they seem like they're making moves. Like I said, sometimes I feel like I'm stagnant, like I'm not moving at all. But um, I think I'm still here because of the fact that 
I want it, you know, I really, really want it. Like if you are willing to sacrifice everything for it, then you're going to get it. Like I've sacrificed so much for my business. I've lost past relationships that I've been in seven plus years. I gave up my apartment just recently and I'm back in my mom's house. And I always said I would work two full time jobs before I ever moved back home. And now I'm back <laughs> home. So it's just it's just about sacrifices. Like I will literally sleep on the street for my business. And if you love something that much, you will always do whatever you can to protect it. And I feel like that's what I'm doing with my business. I could really cry if I really thought about it because I care this much. Like, it's my baby. Like, if something ever happened, I would be devastated. So I think it's just having something you really love, you care about, and just protecting it with your heart and just watching it grow. Just feed it, water it, you know, everything. So that's why we're still here. We're still growing. My baby's growing up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, I think that's super dope. Like, I see you going really far. I, you know, I love your work ethic and all of the work that I even personally see that you put into it. So, I mean, I think you're definitely going to go really far. (laughs) Thank you. No, because I could cry. And I sit like people will try to tear you down so much. And there's so many regular people. And I'm not saying regular is bad by any means. But there's so many people out there like, well, why were you trying to have a boutique or why are you trying to have a store? You need to go get you a job. The same reason why you're rocking a Michael Kors or rocking any type of high end name brand bag, you're keeping them in business. So if I can just switch that bag with mine, you're already a customer. You know, if I can get you something you like, I the crazy thing is I don't enjoy regular things. Like I can go to a concert and I see the stadium full of people. And in my mind, everyone is like, oh, that's my song. And I'm just like, how can I get my product in your hands? Like, I see money when I go to stadiums and concerts. I don't see, oh, let me have fun. I'm just like, okay, you need a business card. You need a business card. You need, like, that's just, that's my everyday life. So it's just breathing it all in and just trying to keep that drive, I guess. Who's the number one person on your wish list to work with? Number one person on my wish list. Oh my gosh. Um, number one person. I would love to work with Bryson Tiller. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't expecting to... that answer. Really? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. I would love to work with him. Um, I would love to really anyone that supports it. So, I mean, I love to work with like dope people who have like a great vision. Some people you see that they just won't change, but I love to work with someone who has like, they're used to change. Mm-hmm. So a little bit of flexibility. A little bit of flexibility is what <laughs> I like to see, I guess. So it's not about the biggest name person, but it's about someone who would actually really support it and rock with you. So right. that's people I would work with, just genuine people, I'd say. All right. Well. We're going to go ahead and sign out. If there's anything else that you want to tell your fans, anybody who's watching, like, here's the moment. YouTube.com slash Shoshana's Trends. Check out my videos on Sunday, 7 p.m., Wednesday at 7 p.m., and shop Don Ravanga. Dog on it. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to uh, check us out at www.identitybydesignmag.com. And you can catch us on uh, Instagram, also by the same name. Yep. Peace. See you later. <laughs>